Hey guys, so I'm actually doing something a little different. This video happens to be about if I'm sure ladies or maybe gents, we've all been there where you have dropped or cracked or shattered a blush or an eyeshadow palette or an expensive or inexpensive powder compact or something like that and I don't know a lot of times you just figure well you know I gotta throw it away even though you may have just bought it you know but actually you don't have to do that so I was actually gonna throw this blush away just this one pan because that was the only one that was broken it didn't cost a lot of money but then I thought about it, you know, why should I throw it away? There's nothing wrong with the product. It's a very good product and, you know, I can fix it. I hadn't, I don't know, it didn't occur to me because I hadn't had to do this little trick in such a long time that I forgot about it, but I'm glad I thought about it um, because it actually works. So, so anyway. I just wanted to share this little trick with you in case you guys ever need this, whatever. So if you're interested, stay tuned. This is the problem, as you can see, sorry about that. It's all broken and I've kind of fixed it up a little bit, um, you know, cleaned it up a little bit. So I've piled all the uh, powder back into the... Uh, pan here as you can see. So here's everything that you're going to need to complete this project. So the main thing that you're going to need is this. Just some regular alcohol that you find at your regular local pharmacy. So what I have here is rubbing alcohol, ethyl alcohol, 70%. Or you can use isopropyl alcohol, 70%. Those are the main ones that you're going to find in the pharmacy. Uh, if you happen to find 90% alcohol, that's even better. It will dry out the product faster or the alcohol will evaporate faster if you have a higher percentage of alcohol. But 70% is absolutely fine. So next you'll need some of this which is wax paper just regular wax paper that you have in your kitchen and you're going to use that um, basically just as a surface so this is kind of optional too but I like to use it because I don't want to get all the product all over my counter and wax paper is a little bit slippery so if you get product on it, it's easier to pour it back in the pan or whatever container you have because it doesn't stick to the, the product won't stick to the paper. So I just find it easier to pour the product back into the pan with wax paper. Next thing you're going to need, um, this is optional, is a Ziploc bag. And I'll tell you why uh, for that in a minute. You'll also need something to mash up the product so I just got this knife it's a plastic uh, knife that I got for takeout from a restaurant or something but you can use anything um, sometimes I use a makeup pencil so you know you just need something that you can smash up the product so that's what I use this for a knife is good or something like with a flat surface or a spatula um, just to it helps to pick up the product a little bit better and also helps to smooth out the product which I'll show you later on in the video you also need something that is similar to the shape of the item that you're going to use so that's similar to the container of the item that you're going to use so since I have this round blush pan it's about this size and this is just a container for creams like a travel size container for creams that I got at Target so say if you had like an eyeshadow palette that was 
a little bit smaller you could use the top of this nail polish or you could also use like some type of tablet bottle you just need something that's similar in size to whatever you're working with if you have something that's square you can use like this lipstick top or if you have like a bigger say something like this bigger powder container you could use like a bigger tablet bottle and so that's what that's for the Ziploc bag is optional so say if you have something that's bigger like say this powder that's broken you can dump all the powder out into this bag and you know everything will stay in there and then it's easier for you to crush up the product in the bag you know and then it doesn't get all over the place but since this blush pan is a little bit smaller it'll fit on here pretty easily on this wax paper that I have here so this is basically everything you'll need isopropyl alcohol or whatever type of alcohol wax paper a ziploc bag something anything to mash up the product with um, something to scrape up the product or pick it up and flatten it out smooth it out something that's similar in shape to the product that you're using very simple very inexpensive and very easy and pretty fast actually as you'll see once we get into the project. Oops, I almost forgot one thing. You're also going to need this item right here, which is a paper towel, just a regular old paper towel. So these are all the items that you're going to need for this project. So let's get started. And you're going to break this up. You can actually take all of the product out and put it on this wax paper or you can also take it out and put it in this Ziploc bag and that's the reason for the Ziploc bag like if you have a, a big powder or something or you want to break it up you can put it in the Ziploc bag and mash it up so it doesn't get all over the place actually what I'm going to do is just Take all of this out of here and take it all out of the pan and just do it this way. I'm going to add the alcohol. Like so. So, like I said, you don't want too much alcohol, or else it'll be too wet. You just want it to form like a paste get too much then it takes a longer time to dry add a few more drops and you want all the powder to be wet saturated so there you have it that's what you have it's just like a paste and then what I'm gonna do is put this back into the pan like so 
Just gonna spread it in here. So like you Tap that back on, add a few more drops of alcohol over it. Smooth it out. And then Take my paper towel again and this, and I'm just going to press it over the entire pan. And that's it making sure that everything is firmly packed. That's what it looks like. Let it set out and dry. What you want is for all of the alcohol to evaporate. So while I let my blush dry overnight, or for 24 hours, I'm going to clean this mess up with some makeup remover. Or when I get ready to put the pan back in, it'll be all nice and clean. And I just get a cotton ball and just, you know, clean it off. And that's it. So I'll be back in 24 hours to show you the finished product. Okay, see you later. Okay, so here's the finished product. And as you can see, the product is now dry. It's been about maybe 21 hours, not a full 24 hours. But that's okay, the product is dried out, all the alcohol has evaporated, and the product is dry now. And as you can see, it looks the same as it did before. You can still see the shimmer or a little bit of the sparkles that it had. And it's perfectly dry. It, let's see, I don't know if I can turn it over, so... You know, doesn't come out. It's in the pan, just like it was before. And let's see, I'll swatch this. So, product is still the same as it was. I don't know if you can see it on my hand, but it's perfectly fine. So, there you have it. So, hope this helps somebody. Hope you enjoyed watching it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.